When people think about transferring their assets to a trust or foundation, they're usually concerned about whether or not they can still use those assets that they've transferred to their trust or foundation. Now, before we get into that, when I say foundation, I'm not talking about a charitable foundation, but a statutory foundation, also known as a civil law foundation. If you're unfamiliar with statutory foundations and want to learn more, check out my video, Introduction to Foundations and Charitable versus Statutory Foundations, which is better. I'll put the link to both of those videos down in the description. The only thing I'm going to say about foundations in this video is that they're similar to trusts. Basically, somebody sets them up to benefit beneficiaries. Beneficiaries of a trust can use trust assets if it's not prohibited by the trust agreement and the trustee authorizes the usage. It is even possible for a trust agreement to specify which beneficiaries can use which assets in which circumstances. But just because something's possible doesn't mean it's a good idea. Many countries, including the United States, consider letting a beneficiary use trust property of certain types of trusts to be a taxable benefit to the beneficiary. Basically, that beneficiary is going to be liable for the fair market value of the benefit of using that property. So let's say, for example, that a trust owns a house and lets a beneficiary live in it rent free. The beneficiary would have to pay tax on the fair market rental value. So let's say the property could be rented for $10,000 a month. The beneficiary would be liable for taxes on $120,000 of income per year, assuming, of course, that the beneficiary used it the whole year. They could also be liable for whatever expenses like utilities that were paid by the trust. In the US, for example, the income that needs to be recognized by the beneficiary is limited to the net income of the trust. So if the trust has no income, there would be no tax on the beneficiaries. Let's, let's use my earlier example, right? So the fair market value of the residence being used is 120,000 per year. If the trust only had 50,000 of income, the beneficiary would only be liable on 50,000 of benefits because that's the extent of the trust's income. So you could, for example, transfer a residence to a trust that earns no income and then have it let a beneficiary live in it and the beneficiary wouldn't have to recognize any income because the trust didn't have any income. Figuring out whether the trust has income isn't always as easy as it sounds. So each case needs to be reviewed to determine if the trust has income. Often things you wouldn't consider income could be. If you like our content, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. And for more strategic tips on international tax and wealth planning, subscribe to our email list and follow me on LinkedIn. Links below. Additionally, you also need to look at the type of trust and how the trust is taxed. This tax treatment does not apply to all types of trusts. Another way to avoid the beneficiary having to pay tax on the usage of the trust property is by having the beneficiary pay the fair market value for the usage of the property. Let's say, for example, the trust owned a vacation home. The beneficiary could pay the trust the fair rental value of that vacation home for the time they use it. Or let's say it, the trust owned an airplane. The beneficiary could pay the fair rental value of that airplane for the time they used it. Like I said, Trust taxation can be complicated depending on the jurisdiction and whether the trust is domestic US trust or a foreign trust, whether it's a grantor trust or non-grantor trust. That's why I said each situation needs to be analyzed individually to determine the tax consequences. The point of this video is just to make you aware that generally, yes, a beneficiary can use trust property if it is permitted by the trust agreement and the trustee allows it, but there could be consequences to the beneficiary in that they have to pay taxes on the fair value of the usage of that property. So it's really important to analyze that before letting a beneficiary use property. If you have a trust or a beneficiary of a trust considering using trust property yourself or letting another beneficiary use property, it's important to analyze the potential tax implications first. We specialize in trust taxation and can help. Reach out if you need help figuring out what assets to transfer to a trust or what the tax implications are for a beneficiary if they use trust property. And if you'd like to learn more about trusts and foundations, download our Trusts and Foundations Guide. I'll put the link in the description. Thank you.